Hey there and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to show you how you can optimize the new pepper shaker weapon in Fallout 76. Even without explosive effects, this weapon does decent damage, although it may not be that ammo efficient. We'll be using a vampire and a two-shot pepper shaker for this test but of course a bloodied, junky, anti-armor and aristocrat pepper shaker would excel even better. In terms of weapon modifications, you only need hex barrel and laser magazine. If you are short of gold bullion, get a friend to modify the weapon for you. The standard sight is good enough as gunner sights are way too scoped to be used. One of the issues is that, although it has a range of 96, this weapon is essentially a shotgun which is better to be used in close range with enemies. Hence, a vampire pepper shaker would help you to tank some hits from enemies without dying. Jumping into the perk cards, you would require 15 strength, 3 perception, 9 agility and 14 luck, along with stats boost in the legendary perks section. To truly optimize the damage output, you can use three cards of heavy gunner and two cards of shot gunner. Either combination works as the pepper shaker is both a heavy gun and a shotgun. For perception, you only need the perk card called Skeet Shooter. Big Wave has shared that this perk card ensures greater accuracy when hip firing shotguns. Note that the pepper shaker is not exactly a VATS optimized weapon. Hence you do not need high perception for it. If you have a lot of charisma to spare, you can consider the level 3 tenderizer and the suppressor which would help to reduce your target's damage by 30%. Under agility, you need about a minimum of 8 to 11 agility if you want to equip level 5 adrenaline and level 3 enforcer along with the action girl perk card. Technically, if you are not intending to cripple enemies, you won't need the Enforcer perk card. You may equip a level 2 Adrenaline perk card if you do not have enough agility points. For luck, you will need at least level 2 Bloody Mess, level 1 Quick Hands, level 1 Ricochet and level 1 Serendipity. If you are running a Vampire build, Serendipity is highly optional which can be swapped with Bloody Mess or Quick Hands. The quick hand perk is very handy to have for luck builds as you can reload your clip automatically. It is quite handy for weapons such as mini guns and pepper shakers which have slow reloading speed. As we love carrying too many weapons, you will notice a carry weight is not optimized as a trade-off in this build. Generally, it is a walking killer. We recommend using the perk loadout manager to make your life so much easier when changing builds. Let me know in the comments section below if you require a guide on that. So, the reason for using the laser magazine instead of the default magazine is that there is less of rubber banding when hitting enemies. This is good as you won't expend too much ammunition per enemy. However, if you get the hang of it, you can occasionally take your finger off the trigger for the damage to register. Generally, shotgun shells have higher availability than plasma cartridges and fusion cells. The crafting materials of shotgun shells are also not as taxing compared to fusion cells which require copper. With level 5 adrenaline up and running, the damage has increased from 120 to 159 which is almost close to the damage of the black powder rifle. So, when aiming, you should also be aiming for the head so as to get double damage. Avoid shooting from a distance away as there seem to be a lot of bullet drop. 
having the modifier that increases damage by 25% while aiming or 25% faster fire rate is a good addition. I would trade an anti-armor 25% faster fire rate for a vampire one right now. Let me know in the comments section below. Next, we are going to test out how a two-shot pepper shaker will work. The damage increases about 10% higher than the vampire one, using the same barrel and magazine mods. In general, two-shot weapons when hit fired are not the most accurate weapon. However, if you are aiming down sights, it does work its magic. We mean, it is quite thrilling to see many damage numbers on the screen. It's probably too satisfying, but we still prefer the vampire prefix as we don't have to worry about dying in combat. So, what do you think? Have you gotten your pepper shaker plan yet? We are giving away free pepper shaker weapons on our Twitch stream every day. Let us know if you want one. Well, almost near the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and join our Discord for more Fallout content. You can also support us on Twitch as we stream regularly.